Hi everybody, it's Ramona with Fab Every Day. And as you know, our family travels quite a bit. We are quite the veteran, especially when it comes to road trips. With the holidays coming up, I figure that many of you are probably planning trips with your families as well. So today I'm sharing our top tips to survive and not just survive, but actually enjoy and get the most out of road trips with young children. The tips I'm sharing today are great for toddlers, but they'll also work for older kids as well. I've got all these tips linked below on fabeveryday.com and that link is gonna include great resources for family travel, including printables for some of the activities that I'm sharing today. Here are the tips. The first tip that I always share with families who are gonna be taking long road trips with kids is to pace yourself, take your time. Ideally, we like to drive about seven to eight hours a day on a long road trip. Uh, we try not to go more than nine hours, but really kind of that six uh, to seven hours is the sweet spot. And the reason for this is because young kids, especially toddlers, need a lot of breaks. They can't always control when they need to go to the restroom or when they need to stretch their legs. So pace yourself, allow yourself plenty of time so that you have time for those stops, for those bathroom breaks without throwing off the rest of your schedule. And speaking of stretching their legs, one thing that we find extremely valuable on road trips are looking for fast food restaurants that have play places. Whether you're gonna eat the fast food or not while you're traveling, the play places are a great way for kids to get out, stretch their legs, uh, break up that car ride a bit so that they can have some fun and then you can get back on the road. Along those same lines, food is very important for road trips, especially long ones. You might have seen that meme that says, if your road trip snacks don't look like you're a nine-year-old unsupervised with $100, then you're doing it wrong. And that's kind of what our road trip snacks look like. Honestly, we are not as concerned about uh, having the healthiest snacks while we're on the road. Personally, of course, you're welcome to do whatever works for your family, but we instead like to focus on fun foods that they don't have very often because this keeps things exciting. Uh, we can pull out some of their favorite snacks, especially ones that they're not used to having all the time. Keeping kids happy with fun snacks is a great way to keep them and you happy on a road trip. With that, we also like to find fun foods that are available locally wherever we're driving. For example, uh, there might be a local specialty or a roadside stand with some special fruits or jerkies that are only available in that area, and it's always fun to experiment and try new things. One of our family's absolute favorite road trip traditions, and one that we do on every single road trip because the kids love it so much, is we have special do not open until bags that the kids get to open at different points along the journey. So how these work is I use uh, just plain uh, paper bags, craft bags, you know, like lunch bags, and I put a label on them that says, do not open till. I fill in the rest of that label with certain milestone spots along the drive. Now they could be certain milestones like, uh, like a state border, uh, but really what I try to do is I try to have those for every two to three hours of drive time. So if it's a day where we're driving about five hours, I'll only have one of these in the middle, but if it's a day where we're driving you know, eight or so hours, there'll be two bags for them. I fill those bags with goodies from the dollar store. So this never costs us very much. And it's always something the kids look forward to. In fact, they're always asking how long until the next bag that they get to open. And it's really fun. And if you can find things at the dollar store that are in the theme of your trip, whether it's a holiday or you know something that even relates to your next stop, that's a bonus. I've got those printable labels actually for you in the blog post that I'm linking below. Definitely check that out. Those printables are free. Some of our other favorite activities are printable coloring pages. You can find many of those for free online, as well as fun, free road trip game printables. I put them together for the boys in their own individual binders that only come out for road trips. I can update the printables every trip or just leave some blank pages for them to color on. These binders include colored pencils, crayons, a pencil and a crayon sharpener, uh, and stickers that they get to use to update and decorate their folders each trip. I'm linking some of our favorite road trip activity printables in that blog post. One of them is a license plate game. That's really fun. It's always fun to try to see how many of the 50 states license plates you can find. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned some great things to put into practice for your next road trip. You can get all the details that I shared, including links to free printables for road trip activities on fabeveryday.com. Make sure to click that link and you're definitely going to want to pin this one to your family travel boards. Happy travels.